So, Josh, um, you've been here a couple of weeks now. How have you settled into the club? Uh, settled in pretty well, I think. Um, I got on really well with all the staff and all the boys, and, yeah, I'm just very pleased to be here. And you've started all three games since being here, so you've hit the ground running, haven't you? So, has that been good for you to get games straight away? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think, um, obviously, the gaffer put a lot of trust in me um, to throw me in straight away, pretty much, um, after not a lot of game time the first six months because injuries and stuff. So, no, I owe him a lot for that because he chucked me in at the deep end, but um, I've came out on top and I've really, really enjoyed all three of my games so far. And you spent some time alone at Harrogate Town last season. So, has it been easy to adjust to League Two football again the last couple of weeks? Uh, yeah, I think <laughs> easier now than what it was when I first went to Harrogate. I think, um, obviously, when I first went to Harrogate, I wasn't really used to the league and the kind of physicality and the pace of it. But I think I've kind of came up to terms with that so far. And, uh, yeah, I think I've kept me terms with it, yeah. And how exciting is it to join a side that's fighting for promotion to uh, League One as well? Yeah, no, I think, well, that was part of the reason I kind of came here. Obviously, I spoke to the gaffer uh, and he was brilliant with me when, obviously, I came down to meet him. But um, I think that was the main kind of selling point. I mean, they're going for promotion and there's no kind of better club to go at in this league. I, I wouldn't think so with the fans, the promotion push and the way the club want to go. So it was kind of a no-brainer for me to come here. So, no, I'm very, very pleased with my position. Just a good run. When you came in, could you feel that confidence around the training ground? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think it's not. I think sometimes it's not easy to kind of um, come in, especially when a team's flying and uh, kind of get into the team straight away. But no, I kind of got that um, kind of sense that the team's kind of this is what the main goal is for the season. Obviously, the whole play, the whole building is the kind of same. It's just we want promotion, and um, but we also don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. Just take it a game at a time, and uh, yeah. And you've won three players on loan from Scotland. Is there a lot of talented young players up there and, you know, the EFL clubs should be looking at? Well, yeah, definitely. I think that's more, I think that was the kind of thing when I was <laughs> up in Scotland out on loan and I was at Rangers, it was kind of taking that jump to England, kind of moving away from home and stuff like that. But for me, it's well worth the jump. I mean, I love, I, I've loved it ever since I've came down to England. So for any young player up in Scotland, I, think, I, I don't think there'd be any better. And it's a good education to come down south of the border as well to test yourself in league football. Yeah, no, definitely. I think just the kind of pace, the physicality of it, I think the test you and obviously a club like Tranmere, it's massive, the fans are big. It's just kind of represents what Rangers are all about. So, no, it was a no-brainer for me to come here and come back to come back and get game time in this league, yeah. And you're only 20, you've got lots of years ahead of you. What are you good at and what do you want to add to your game? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm quite I'm, I'm fast I want to score goals I want to assist and I want to create opportunities for the team I think well obviously I think the first couple of games was about getting my fitness and sharpness back but obviously for now to the end of the season I want to add goals and assist to my game and uh, my bit of creativity Is there any forwards you've looked up to growing up and is there any players you look at now who you think oh yeah you know I like quite model me game a little bit around those uh, Yeah no there is a few there is a few I think a few of the boys at Rangers obviously when I was coming through there when I was younger um, that signed, I think, they're great old models. I mean, I mean, I, I look at kind of the boys in my position at Rangers, like Brian Kent and stuff like that. So I look at kind of players like that, but I also look at um, like a Jermaine Defoe when he first came into Rangers, just his kind of work ethic and him staying behind and stuff like that. I also looked at that, so I took parts off everyone. And there's lots of competition in the forward line of Tramway. How good is it for a player and how much does that push you as well to, to want to get that place in the side? Yeah, yeah, no, um, I know it's definitely, I think it's quite it's healthy composition. So uh, it helps a lot, especially when you're playing. You kind of know I need to do well here to stay in the team. So I think it's healthy for everyone. And it's, I think the gaffer's got it a good way. And finally, Charlie, Charlie Jolly scored to those two excellent goals last week. How impressed have you been with seeing him in training and seeing him on the pitch as well in games? Yeah, no, he's been brilliant. I think um, obviously I knew, when he was, I knew him when he was younger. He's roughly similar age to me. So no, I think he's been brilliant and his goals have really added to the team. and. Hopefully they can, they can continue that form. Brilliant. Cheers to that. Good luck for the weekend. No bother. Thank you very much. Hi, Josh. Hiya. When um, sometimes in the January transfer window, players can come into sides and they come into a side that's struggling and needs to ship players out and move things around to try and get an uplift in performance. Yeah. But that's not been the case here, really, has it? You come into a team that's winning and is now, now you know, eight games unbeaten. Does that just make that whole transition a lot easier? And also a bonus that you've, you've pretty much gone straight into the side. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. I think, obviously, as I touched on earlier, I think when, I'm, when I was kind of making the decision, it was kind of, 
obviously I've seen the position trying me were in and how the club wanted to go and the position I wanted to go. And I think that's just, that was kind of a reflection on me as a player. That's what I want to do. I want to aim higher. I want to get up the leagues. I want to prove myself. So, no, I think um, the league position we're in now is quite, is good, but we also can't get too ahead of yourself. I think we just need to take it game by game. Uh, and, and, you know, you've played a couple of games now. What, what have you made of your own performances since you've come back to League Two? Uh, no, I've really, really enjoyed my own performances, I think. Um, I think the first couple of games was kind of getting that fitness because I've I had injuries like, uh, the first six months of the season. So I was getting kind of that fitness and sharpness back and obviously thankful to the gaffer to throw me in and kind of get that about me. But no, I think, um, I think I've got a lot more to show, but I think, no, I'm really, really pleased with my performances. I'm sure the staff are too. Got, it's always easier to get the fans on side when you're when a team's on a winning run, of course. But you've yeah. you, you've come down from uh, from Rangers, obviously a very well supported club. But you, you've come to uh, uh, another well supported club here, and have you got to speak to many of the fans and got got used to uh, to what their expectations are and what kind of type of level of support you can expect? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I've spoke to the fans. I've seen them obviously at the games and stuff like that, and before games and after games. I think now nah, they're brilliant. To be fair, they remind me a lot about. Uh, I like Rangers, I think the club just reminds me about Rangers, the fans, the fan base, the games, they kind of, they want that kind of honest hard work, so obviously they like the ability, but the honest hard work really gets you on the fan side, nah, but, so the fans have been brilliant with me, yeah. Um, you, as uh, Carl said, you're only 20, but I think this is actually your, your third loan away from Scotland, uh, all down in England, I don't think I left left me house till I was about 26, Josh. So um, yeah. how, how have you made that sort of adjustment? How easy have you found it living away from home? Because obviously you're only a young man. Yeah, no, I think, um, obviously I moved away from home when I was at Harrogate last season. I think I was only 18, turning 19. So I was even younger then. But um, no, listen, I've loved it. I think that's kind of part of the experience of being a footballer and being out on loan. It's meeting new people, meeting new managers, coming to new places and coming to new cities. So no, I've loved every minute of it and I wouldn't have changed it for the world. So... I'm really, really enjoying my time down in Liverpool at the moment. So, yeah. Well, one person who can show you the ropes around there is the former Rangers manager, Stephen Gerrard. What, did you have much uh, interaction with him whilst you were up at Rangers or while he was there? Uh, yeah, I think he's the one that kind of gave my debut when I was younger. Um, obviously, coming through, I kind of, by the time I was kind of pushing into the first team, I think he just came in. So, no, they helped me a lot and the coaching staff there helped me a lot. So, I owe them, I owe them pretty much everything I've got right now. So, um, no, but they've really, really helped me with my development and kind of pushing me to um, do, do the best myself. Uh, and since you've come to Merseyside and, co and come into this team, which traditionally, which I'm always, always full of quite strong, uh, strong characters, um, is there any, anyone that's kind of taken you under your wing or who, who, have you been, who have you been hanging around within the squad? Uh, no, I, to be fair, I, got, I hang about with Charlie Jolly quite a lot. But um, I get on really well with all the lads. I think all the lads have been brilliant with me. Um, but if I had to pick one, it'd be Charlie, probably. I suppose you probably got a bit more in, in common music-wise with Charlie got Jolly than maybe Peter Clark. <laughs> yeah, no, but Clark, he's, Clark, he's good too. I think he's, he's really good to me, I know. Well, you seem in good spirits, spirits Josh. So you're looking forward to this uh, uh, tricky trip to Crawley on Saturday then? Uh, yeah, no, definitely. I think, as, as I touched on earlier, I think it's just taking game by game obviously and um, we've had a good run of form but I don't think I think it's obviously important to not get too ahead of ourselves and kind of look at the short term right now than the long term so yeah no I'm, I'm really looking forward to it.